Welcome to the year 2021. It's the start of a new year and that always brings an excitement and a level of expectation to all of us. Welcome to Morning Moments with Jesus, the first edition of this year. And as we begin to look at 2021, we automatically think, you know, things are going to be different and we get a a good start on a, on a new year. We make resolutions and other things that we try our best to keep. But I want to talk to you this morning just about becoming new. Becoming new in Christ Jesus. Let me tell you why that's so important. Because 2 Corinthians 5.17, Paul writes to the Corinthians here. And listen to what he says here. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, that's important. He is a new creature. Old things are passed away. And behold, all things become new. See, one of the reasons why we have so many stops and starts in our lives and we want to do better, but we seldom are able to get to the point where we are better is because we try to do it on our own. Or we seek the help of other people who we think can get us to where we want to be. But the the truth and the key to this verse is that it has to be in Christ, through Christ Jesus. With every year, there is a choice that has to be made. First of all, you can keep doing things the same way that you've been doing and hoping that somehow you're going to get a different result. You can ask God to change things but then you do very little to help bring about that change. Or you can identify what you want to change in your life and put all of your effort into allowing Christ to bring that change in you. Not you bring the change, but you allow Christ to bring the change in you. See, if you want to identify who you really are, then you got to start by identifying who you're not. See, we are not the sum of our past mistakes. We are not mistakes. We're not lost causes. And we're not destined to fail. That is who we are not. So who are we? We are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. We can do all things through Christ Jesus. We are joint heirs of heaven with Christ Jesus. So no matter what was last year, it doesn't have to be this year. So become new in Christ this year. One day at a time, one moment at a time, one decision at a time. And what you're going to find is that you are truly able to become new this year. Stop trying to do it by yourself. Stop trying to just do it with other people's helps. And do it through Christ Jesus. Now I'm going to pray that blessing over you this morning. That God would bring about that change through His Son, Jesus Christ. Identify what you want to change. Just just take one or two things. Don't... Don't try to change the whole thing. Just get one or two things and say, God, make me better at this and see what he does through Christ. I pray that this year we're going to have some great devotions. We're going to have some great time together. We're going to have a lot of important milestones that are going to make a big difference in our lives. 2020 was rough, but we had some great morning moments with Jesus that God blessed us with. This year, we're stepping it up. We're taking the fight to the enemy. We will be better this year, guaranteed. Why? Because it's through Christ that we gain our strength. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Forget about them. And all things become new. You be safe, be strong, be blessed, and be a people 
who understands the importance of becoming new. God's blessings upon you today and always. Have, have yourself a great day today.